When I was in college, I took Asian philosophy and one of the concepts we studied was human nature. Uh, human nature being the core fundamentals and characteristics that all humans are born with. But the question is, is human nature naturally good or naturally bad? Two Chinese philosophers studied this question and came up with two different answers. They were Meng Zi and Sun Zi. I want to talk about them. But before I go on, I should probably say that this is just my interpretation of the text alongside some of the things that my teacher taught me. I should not be a reference to any featured college papers. This is more for if you don't understand the text, I'm kind of explaining it a little bit. Kind of like, um, this is human nature for dummies. Also right around here, I'm going to be putting down reference numbers. That's the right word, right? Yeah, so if you want to check out the quote, the chapter and paragraph right here. Let's start off with Meng Zi. Meng Zi believed that human nature is good, meaning that humans are born naturally good. His reasoning is that there are four traits that humans are born with. That's benevolence, righteousness, propriety, and wisdom. He gives the example of life and righteousness. Now, if he had to pick between the two, he would pick being righteous because not being righteous is something he hates more than death. And that could be said for a lot of people. I think there are many who would risk their lives and their comfort for a cause that they see just and righteous. A good example is the Battle of Normandy, how service members left their homes and risked their lives so that Europe and the world could be freed from tyranny. That is the nature of human goodness. Or let's just use Meng Zi's example. Meng Zi talks about compassion, and he gives an example about a child who fell in a well. Now, would you react in hopes to gain favor from the parent? No! Because you're not a dickhead! You react out of compassion because a child fell in a fucking well! Sorry, that was going too far. Oh, and I use this example because I'm using a similar example later on in the video, so yeah. That doesn't mean humans are always good. Meng Zi states that those who follow their greater part become great humans. Those who follow their petty part become petty humans. Remember the four traits Meng Zi said everyone had? We're not born with maximum levels of it. We're just born with it. And then our environment nurtures those four traits. Meaning, if you're a shit person, it's not because of the human nature. It's because of how the environment nurtured you into becoming a shit human. Now let's talk about Meng Zi's Ox Mountain Parable. There's a beautiful forest in Ox Mountain, but oh shit, humans saw the trees. Oh no, cattle eat the vegetation. Now Ox Mountain looks like shit. Now whose fault is it? It can't be Ox Mountain's fault. It was the external factors that made Ox Mountain look like shit. Just like Ox Mountain, a person who is fed negativity will become a negative person. Now we talk about Sun Tzu. Sun Tzu took a look at Meng Zi's argument and thought, well, Meng Zi was full of shit. Not that harshly, but he did disagree. He believed that human nature is bad because of humanity's natural urges, and he disagreed with the statement human nature is good, primarily because it undermined the authority of rituals. Imagine if the governments in the world just said, do whatever you want, we don't care anymore, there's no more laws, no more m morality, fuck, fuck everything. Do you think that humans would either say, hey, okay, well, nothing's changed, we'll be good because crimes are bad, or B, well, I'm gonna go commit crimes now. If you thought B, then you probably agreed with Sun Tzu. Now, Sun Tzu believed that the reason why most people aren't actual scumbags is because we have rituals or laws. To quote, since people's nature is bad, they must await teachers and proper models, and only then do they become correct in their behaviors. He does agree with Meng Zi in that humans are born with certain characteristics, just not the positive ones. But that's all they really agree on. See, Sun Tzu questions Meng Zi's statement because he asks, what use for rituals and standards of righteousness? Or I guess in today's words, if humans are good, why are there laws and traditions? Which I guess is a wrong interpretation on my part because Meng Zi also counters by saying, you know, humans are born good, not all humans are good. Sun Tzu also states that humans desire to be good because their nature is bad. I only say this because there's a modern philosopher, I for the, for the life of me, 
cannot remember his name. But if I do, I will pin it in the comments below. But remember the child in the well example. Well, oh shit. That child fell in a river. And you're the only person that could go save them. But oh no. You're wearing your brand new kicks. Now, here's the question. Do you save that child or do you ignore them because of your brand new kicks? That modern philosopher believes that if you thought about that question even for a second, that hesitation even if you kicked off your shoes to save that child, that hesitation alone is proof that human nature is bad. Also, if you did kick off your kicks to save that child, that still counts as human nature being bad because you thought about your kicks as a priority first before jumping in the river, uh, so yeah. Also, that modern philosopher believes that most people would go save that child because they want to be seen as good, uh, which goes back to Sun Tzu's statement about how people want to do good because their human nature is bad. Yes. Now, is human nature good or bad? Why not both? Meng Zhe and Sun Tzu, despite what they think human nature is, do agree that humans can be either good or bad based on their environment. So why not say that human nature is just a blank canvas? But what do you think? Is human nature good because of our virtues? or bad because of our natural urges. That's it for me. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like if you like, subscribe if you're not. My name is Quan, and I'll see you all next time.